What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Q&A with my wife. You wanna introduce yourself? Does anybody even know her name? Do you <laughs> Hi, I'm Jody. This is Jody. And uh, she was introduced to you for the first time maybe a month ago in a video that I did. Uh, if you wanna check that out, I'll put that right up here. And uh, we got a ton of questions that were asked of you. Uh, almost almost 200 questions came in. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> and some of them were, I only like looked at a couple. I didn't really look at a whole lot. So we, we kind of uh, just flew through this. Have you seen any of these? Not really. Just a couple. I'm looking right now. <laughs> so we're the, I think the fair way, because there's no way we're going to get to all these questions, right? Unless you want, you want to answer every question? No. Didn't think so. Okay, so there's no way we're going to get to all these questions. Um, so we're going to start with like the one that came in first and just do newest to oldest. Was that okay? Sure. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for the first question? Hit it. Okay. Tim says, I'm first. How does she feel about going to the bathroom in the woods? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Actually, my first backpacking trip was so rough that, um... I didn't want to go again because of that reason. I don't like going to the bathroom in the woods, but figured out a better system the second time. It's fine. I don't enjoy it, but I'll do it every once in a while. Go to the bathroom in the woods or go backpacking? Both. <laughs> Kyle hates hiking says, how was Panera in Burlington? <laughs> Panera was great. Nice Tasted. to meet you, Kyle. Like all Paneras. No, yep. it was great. It was great to meet Kyle too. James says, so why have you decided to do more videos with Dan and why are you deciding to hike more with him? That's a good question. You know, when your husband does it for a living, I just, he's he wants to hike and backpack with me. He does it with all the kids. So I, I think it's good for the marriage once in a while just to, you know, go make him happy and go on a hike with him. I'll say this. You heard that, right? No, once in a while, once a year. Super often. Once every two years, that's kind of my track. At least once a week. No. I'll say this though, I grew up camping, so I've had lots of outdoor time. My parents had a travel trailer. I've been camping before this guy's actually been camping and I started taking him on hikes. So I got him outdoors, but That's then all true. of a sudden he went to the backpacking scene and you know, I the just kind of like history. to sleep in my trailer at night. That's all. Yep. And now you like to sleep in the woods. Occasionally. Yeah. Um, is your sleep system different than Dan's? And if so, how and why? <laughs> uh, he just kind of sets me up. I just tell him I want to be warm and comfortable. So he gets kind of oh, all nice. my gear ready. And <clears throat> the la this second time that I went was actually a great experience. Everything went great. Wasn't cold. Did you hear that? Comfortable. Did you hear that? That was the best time I've had so far. So you're welcome. That means I'll try it again someday. Yeah. What's the best sleeping bag liner for adding warmth to an existing bag? <clears throat> Do you know that? What's the best sleeping bag liner for adding warmth <laughs> to an existing bag? Should we just skip that question? Yeah. Okay. Pass. Does she get? <laughs> Does she get tired of you talking about hiking and gear? I talk hiking and gear all the time with my wife and she claims she doesn't mind. <laughs> I get tired of it. That's all he wants to talk about. What? And it's lame. That's not true, is it? Yes, it is. Or about YouTube. Uh -huh. This is not true actually right now. I wouldn't rather be backpacking. I'd rather be in a Q&A with you right now. How, how is your meal when hiking? Mm. How's your meal when hiking? Are they, I'm guessing they're asking, how do you like the backpacking food? Actually, before you answer that question, we need to talk about today's sponsor, Fousey. I'm headed to the Smoky Mountains this weekend. It's gonna be 15 degrees Fahrenheit overnight. At least that's about what it's predicted to be up at the elevation that we're gonna be at. And I wanna make sure that all of my electronics not only are protected, but are also gonna last the entire weekend. The Fousey thermal capsule actually protects your phone from dying if it's cold or getting overheated in the sun. This is almost like a Yeti 
for your phone or your GPS or your GoPro or your battery bank or anything that you wanna make sure stays charged and stays protected. The other thing that's pretty awesome about this, and this is actually a really cool one right here, is it's got an extra pocket on the inside of it that you can actually store, say, your truck keys or your car keys or your key fob uh, so you don't lose that and it's gonna make sure that the battery doesn't freeze while you're out in the back country as well. Now, while this thing isn't waterproof, it is water resistant and it floats, which is even more awesome. So if you do drop this, say in a river as you're crossing or anywhere like that at all, it's gonna float and you can grab it without losing your expensive phone or electronics or camera or whatever you decided to put in here. They've got different sizes for different electronics. They've even got different grades of impact ratings, but even the smallest one still has a great impact rating. And if you click the link below, you will save 20% by using the code BECKER20 at checkout over at Fousey.com. And these are also sold at like REI, Amazon, and other outdoor stores around the country. What were you saying about your backpacking food again? Yeah, it's all right. Okay. What? I know, haven't had anything too great. Like, you know, tastes good when you're out there, right? That is true. What daunted you most about backpacking before you went, this is a good one, now that you have gone a few times, were they valid concerns and what concerns do you have now? I love that you're getting into this. Have fun. Going to the bathroom in the woods. Actually, you know what a big fear of mine was? It's really silly, but like bears and That's animals and stuff. I The first time he took me out in the Smoky Mountains, I um, like panicked at night and pretty much stayed up the whole night monitoring the campground. It's true. Watching for bears. Ranger so, Jody. Yeah. I slept with my little bear can spray. <laughs> I, there's nothing and wrong the, with that. I don't she know. did have, she had a bear bear spray right now. I was afraid to go up at the tent because she would probably spray me. Well, I was sleeping with we were, my we were friend. In separate tents. He was in a hammock. I was in a hammock. And then the second night, my friend slept in the hammock and he slept with me because I just needed sleep, so. Yeah. What type of gear do you love and which one do you hate? Uh. That first trip, it was really hot, and he, I had that little hanky thing. <laughs> I liked that. I don't know what that was. Oh, uh, that's the Pack Towel Nano. The Pack Towel Nano. It's awesome. I liked that. I liked my little clippy water bottle in front. Oh, so you hear that? The Aqua Clip. That was good. Yep, she's a believer. Yep, I don't know what else. All right, um, <clears throat> any suggestions for how to get your wife slash girlfriend slash partner to go backpacking like how how would you how, how did i how did i woo you into backpacking mm. suggestions i mean like i said i hike all the time i just don't like sleeping out there so but has it gotten more comfortable yeah i guess just figuring out how to make that person comfortable i don't know how what that would be Oh, here's a really I don't know. Good I'm one. not very good at this. <laughs> this is a really good question. Are you ready for this? No. How do you deal with your feminine care needs Pass. on trips? <laughs> you know what I do? I plan my trips around it. I just won't go hiking if it's that time. Fair enough. Um, that's all I need to know. Part A, how does your family balance time for work, family, then being separated while Dan makes videos for YouTube? Part B, is it part oh A and B? Oh my goodness. Is there any other interest or hobby that the entire family is involved with? I think camping just in general, like RV yeah. travel trailer. So I would say, okay, part B I'll do first. Is there any other interest or hobbies that the entire family is involved with? It, well, I would probably say the entire family is mainly camping. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we go camping a lot. We have a, a big trailer and that pretty much is all of our vacations. <laughs> True story. We plan all of our vacations in our trailer and pull it all over the place. So yep. we do that a lot with we the do. kids. Okay, Dan Becker, top five worst qualities. <laughs> Pass. Okay. <Tough>. What, <laughs> what is the one thing you can't take into the woods that you miss when you're in the middle of nowhere? Mm. Pass. How do you <laughs> how do you comp compromise? Compromise. How many nights Dan can spend camping, and is it hard when Dan goes camping? Is it hard on you when Dan goes camping? Yes, it is. This is actually a big topic that we talk about quite a bit. <clears throat> so um, it's gotten a lot better. 
when he's gone now, I do a lot better. At first I used to freak out and actually have my mom come stay with me because I get scared at night. So, but now we, I've done a lot better. But um, I don't know, like it's just something that we talk about. We make sure that, th the good thing is is that he works from home. So he's really home all the doodah day. <laughs> And I teach preschool part-time, so I'm home by break, noon, so. so we have lots of time together. And our kids get to see their dad anytime they want, so I don't know. We just make sure he's not gone multiple times a month is really it. You hear that? So All right. about once a month, I'd say, sometimes twice a month. How did Dan get you to go out with him? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, like in hiking? Woods? Where's the question? How did Dan get you right to there. go out with him? What do you mean? In the woods? I don't know, just my good looks, wit, and charm probably. All right, next question. Well. How did you manage to meet the goat of the outdoors? He's a legend. I don't know, how did we meet? Blind date. Blind date, a blind date, We've been yes. on a blind date. And we've been married 18 years. 18 years. Oh, so that was so. the next question. Oh. How long have you been married? We've been married 18 years, holy moly. We dated four and a half years. We met on a blind date, there you go. Okay, do you have any kids? Three. <laughs> we have three, total. Three kids. That is it. Has hiking backpacking brought you guys closer as a couple? Mm. Next, I know. pass. I don't know, I'm not quick at answering these, I gotta think, I don't know. Uh, has it brought us closer? Sometimes it's brought us further apart because he wants to go everywhere. Oh. But. But, I was getting nervous for a second. No, but like, I don't know. Sure. It's fun being like, you know, talking this whole journey together. That part has brought us closer for sure. Yeah. I would say just YouTube in general, right? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. How did Dan trick you into his first date with him? <laughs> okay, Nick. Hold on. I'm going right. to tell a little bit about our first date. Oh, so our first date um, was a blind date, like he said. It's all coming back to me now. So we actually went to medi medieval times. If you don't know what that is, if you're from another country, it's like medieval dinner, like you sit down and watch jousting. Yes. And eat with your hands, like and, literally. And you get assigned an a team. So you're like in this big arena and you have to cheer for your team and um, you eat with your hands. So I was dressed really nice, I didn't know him. And he was super wild and like cheering loud and eating turkey legs with his hand and I thought he was this big. Awesome dude. Crazy guy and didn't think it was gonna go anywhere after that date, but I don't know. Then we just hung out again, I guess. <sighs> oh, here's a good one. <clears throat> Love it, dude. How did you How did you get a hottie like her? Oh. Well, I guess you have to answer that. <laughs> uh, that's a really good question. <laughs> Very lucky dude. Mm. My wife wants to know what's her luxury item she brings with her. Oh, my pillow. Pillow. Need a pillow. Need a pillow. What are some of your go-to meals and snacks on the trail? Mm, I was keeping some nuts in my front little pocket. Yep. Some pistachios. She likes pistachios. I, I like, like almonds. Pistachios. Um, do you go backpacking as a whole family? You know, we have not, but we're going to. We've already talked about that. <clears throat> I yeah. really want to go um, all five of us. Yeah. He's taken all three, yeah. or just two at a time. I don't remember. We tried. I tried to do all three, but one got sick right before. Oh, yeah. He got left. a toothache yeah. or something. Yeah. What is your dream location to go backpacking together? Pictured Rocks was pretty good. I've she never liked Pictured thought Rocks. of that, but my favorite has definitely been Pictured Rocks. I love the water, so that was like the perfect And it was mix. an easy hike, right? It was an easy hike, yep. and then it's like you're on the beach, you see water, and then there's woods. It's not just straight woods. Yep. I like water. Yep. Oh, she's adorable. How does she put up with your shenanigans? It's very tricky. How does she... It's full of shenanigans. <laughs> We're gonna keep moving. How does she keep from feeling that she's trail dirty all the time. The only way I can get my wife to go camping is to keep her happy and as clean, clean as, as possible. possible. Eh, you do kind of feel dirty. That I've never gone more than two nights, so 
on the day out, I'm definitely like ready to go take a shower. I'm interested in learning more about her own relationship to the outdoors. Does she like overnights or multi-day hikes? More of a day hiker, camper, summer versus winter. Is she just humoring? Are you just humoring me? Mm. Kinda. <laughs> also, no. is there any gear, including clothing, that she'd recommend? Oh my goodness. So some of it we already answered. Um, you, I told you kind of about my relationship to the outdoors. Kind of been outdoors camping my whole life. Um, but definitely more like, you know, car camping, tenting, trailer camping. Any summer gear? versus winter, definitely oh, yeah. summer. Um, There's summer girl for sure. <laughs> yes, I love summer for sure um any gear including that i would recommend like i said the pillow definitely pillow. love the pillow and the little clip and the little <laughs> hanky <laughs> those are my clip, favorite three pillow and a hanky <laughs> those are my three that's the next video a clip <laughs> pillow and a hanky oh here's a good one why is she so cute uh, Mm-hmm. oh next one she is so cute cute <laughs> you're cute oh, thank i you. would agree you're if cute. you could go Hiking anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? I actually, you know where I would like to go? I don't know if yet, because I'm scared my kids will fall down, but I've never been to the Grand Canyon. Oh, that would be awesome. I would like to go hike. You that. heard it. Next video, Grand but Canyon. I just, it scares me a hiking little bit. Hiking with your wife. But I would like to do that. We're going to go. Do, did either of you work outside of the home? If so, what did you both do? Well, we just kind of said that. He... Did insurance yep. in the house. Yep. And I teach preschool part time out of the house. She's very good. So. Okay. What does she dislike the most about backpacking? Um, well, so my first dislike, like I already shared, was about sleeping at night and being scared out in the woods of animals. Um, and my second is going to the bathroom in the woods. That was really difficult for me on the first trip and I actually got a little pee in my pants and <laughs> that grossed me out horribly so that was my thing I had to figure I out how to go back in the woods I'm just not I I don't know being real people being real all right what's the one thing that makes you hesitant to be in more videos and camping adventures that's a good question I'm just really camera shy. <laughs> I don't like being in the spotlight ever, so. Mm hmm mm hmm I stand behind this guy. Oh, here's a good one. <clears throat> we just started our own YouTube channel with a lot of inspiration from Dan. Mm. Uh, what did your wife think when she, when you first started your YouTube channel? Oh my goodness, I thought he was crazy. Literally tell him, crazy. <clears throat> tell me how you found out. The thing was, is our, our oldest son wanted a YouTube channel for a long time and kept begging and begging. And so Dan was like, you know what? We'll just do this together. And so then he was doing a gaming channel and then... My son was doing a gaming yes, channel. And, and then he was like, oh, I'm just going to do a few things on backpacking. But I don't remember how like I actually found out. He was totally embarrassed. Wouldn't tell me about it. Two months. I for two months, yeah. Caden, I, I remember he oh, saw I it. I remember that on a computer, like I had left the computer open, he saw the channel and he ran and told you and everybody started laughing at me. Yes, we did make fun of him quite a bit in the house for doing yes, a backpacking you YouTube that? channel. You but then when things got a little more serious, then I was thinking he was when really, really When things got real, y'all. When people started watching, I'm like, no, you are not doing this. These are people we don't know. And he's talking to other YouTubers. And, and the like, trolls. Yeah, the I trolls. didn't like that at all. When Nobody I found, trolls. when I, Saw bad comments that made me want to yeah. just have him quit right away. So, but we powered through. Yes. I feel major guilt going camping and leaving my wife home with our 18-month-old son. Ah. Oh. Is it difficult for you being home without him? What do you typically do when he's out on a trip? I already <clears> said <throat> it is difficult when he's gone for sure. Um. I only have three, or I have three, so, and but I don't they're, know. They're so sufficient. I feel like it's gotten actually better just because they're older. When he, when they were younger, he was, should I tell him you're in a band? Yeah, go for it. He was in a band. I was in a band. He's drummed. I don't know if you know this about Daniel, but he's a big drummer. And so he was in a band and he would gig out on the weekends. Gigging, baby. And um, that's when they were little. That was hard to even just be home a night. Uh, with three little ones, but I don't know. Their schedules are busy. They keep me busy. We have a lot of friends. We have a lot of family close by, so 
we stay busy. It works. Here's a good one. Have you ever <clears throat> have you ever told him to quit buying backpacking gear because he had so much already? Yes. <laughs> he spends millions of dollars on all this. Millions, yeah. Crazy I spend junk. millions. <laughs> junk. Junk. Oh. Okay, my wife. Or want... now it's all cameras and lights and That's true. All sorts of Well you gotta see if you're a YouTuber, you're by nature a camera nerd at this point. Yeah, I'm not gonna even tell you about all those purchases. Yeah, okay, my wife went, my my wife, oh, my wife wants to get into hiking. What are some tips for first time women hiking? You know what else? I just thought about this as a good tip. Well, for me, I don't know. I like using trekking poles or even just mm -hmm. one. I feel like I hike a lot better. That's good. Don't know why. There's just so many roots everywhere and carrying this big old pack. Got to be know. safe. I like a trekking pole. Need a pole. Need a trekking pole. Walking stick. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see if we could scroll up a little bit, give somebody else a chance here. There's a lot of questions. Um, <clears throat> oh, here we go. Most dangerous situation and or scariest moment on trail. I feel like we've had quite a bit, actually. I don't know. Should we tell Which him? one should I tell? <laughs> we, we'll I'll tell you super fast. Last trip, we ran into a guy who was completely high on LSD and almost threw himself off a cliff and killed one of, almost killed one of our friends. True story. That's a whole video in itself. Okay, next True question. Story. What's a good tip to get my wife to let me hike more? I feel like you just answered that. Right? Yeah. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people's wives don't want them to hike. Well, you know. I got a good wife. You do. You have a stinking good wife. I do. You're so lucky that you get to do I this. I am. I'm very lucky. Mm -hmm. Let's do, what do you say we do like maybe three more? Sure. Three more? Okay. You want to pick them? Well, I don't know. No. No? Okay. Um, oh, here's one. Does your wife ever help you with editing videos? <laughs> no. Does she give you input on content? Occasionally. Occasionally. Um, editing, no, but you know what I have done? I have held the camera and taken a few thumbnail pics. She has, yep. So, yep. that I have done. Yep. Um, and so is our, some of our kids. Oh, here's a good one. Hmm. How does being out in nature connect you to your spirituality? We believe in God and being out in nature just shows me how amazing and, and um, I don't know, it's just, it can be even overwhelming sometimes, the beauty of nature connecting you to God, you know? And just moments that we have with our kids out there in nature and just, it definitely brings me closer to God, I would say that. I think we should end right there. There you go. That was good, awesome. All right, you guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, comment below and like this video if you wanna see more videos with her in no, it. No, no, no. That'd be awesome, it no. helped me out a ton. All You're right. Good. All right, guys, uh, we'll see you on the next one.